Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. How's everyone doing? It's so good to see everyone again. Good. Good to see you too, man. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Rome, you're really creeping up on that leaderboard. You're, this is the fourth time you've been on the show. I know, man. It's, I'm about to let me let me get a job. What's up, man? Hey, what do I gotta do? I'm very I competitive. Uh, go be on more shows. Like go be on more shows. Two more times. Two more times. Two more times. Okay, okay, cool. Um, you know, it's so much fun. You know, with season two. I mean, Emra, I want to start with you. I mean, so much kind of happens in season, like the end of season one. So, what is that like? Just kind of. Before even going to film, just seeing some of the scripts, seeing what's going to happen for season two, knowing what happened in season one. What's that like for you? Oh, I mean, I get the coolest job in the world. (laughs) I get to like make out with these two guys and it's like super cool. (laughs) (laughs) Um, No, I think it's so fun. I mean, I just want I want to like just go and do everything that's on this uh, on the script. I mean, Gloria creates these crazy characters these crazy scenarios and i just love how fun lily has in this season um more than anything lily starts kind of like rock hitting rock bottom um and kind of paves her way back to the top um i love lily my girlfriends love lily i feel like so many women relate to lily because she is struggling with what we all do um struggling with love struggling with our dreams with our career managing family expectations societal expectation where do we find our happy medium when do we prioritize ourselves? Mm-hmm. So I think that's the journey that Lily takes. She kind of takes the rails of, of her life. She learns to be a little bit more present. She still makes a couple of mistakes, but don't we all? But at the end of the day, she gets to be with these two lovely men. So I think she's she's not too shabby. Desmond, I, I never make ca- those mistakes. <laughs> Sorry. Desmond, no. I was about to say, I loved your character in season one. Guess what? I love your character in season two. <laughs> <laughs> what a, what, a, what a, an amazing twist. It was like, I love your character in season one. And I fucking hate him in season two. <laughs> no, no, no. How, about, how excited was it for you to kind of go back to this character? There's so much going on. It's a lot of fun, this character, I would say. Oh, so much fun. I get yep. to I get to play across the board. Like he's such a goofball, especially in season one. Um, there was kind of bridging that gap of like, you know, trying to trying to de goofballify him a little bit for season two. Because it's like Is that you know, a new word? A... Did you just come yeah, up with yeah, a new no, word for the dictionary? It's a real world. Go take a look. It's a, it's in the Oxford. Um it's under G, G O O, and then like got it, the got it, got it, okay. form of yeah. It's there. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so, no, it's fine. Yeah. No, absolutely. And, and Rome, you know, it's, it's interesting as well because, you know, a lot of characters have growth. There's a lot of, char- there's a lot of growth with your character. The arc always grows and everything. What was something that you really liked that you were able to do from a storytelling acting perspective in season two that maybe you weren't able to do as much in season one just because of the growth of these characters and trying to find themselves? Yeah, you know, it's always the first season is um, an introduction you know, yeah. in the feeling out process of who these people are. And then the season two is, okay, now we know, now where do we go from here? And, now, and that's kind of what my journey has been, um, trying to honor who this guy is in these circumstances now that we predetermined uh, how he is and what he's like. And also finding that certain areas that I can make a decision to make a different choice. Yeah. You know what I mean? That maybe wouldn't be a choice he would make in the first season, but still feels like you're you're honoring that. Because that's what people do. We don't go through life just trying to do the same exact thing and make the same exact choice. We sometimes make the wrong choice. And so um, that was that was fun to play. Oh, absolutely. And for a wrap up quickly, we were talking in other rooms, you know, with your cast about like underrated and cool kind of date spots and everything. Do you all agree that our, an arcade is a very underrated, cool spot for a date? Absolutely. I'm just saying, do you agree? to an arcade and it was the coolest date ever. <laughs> I mean, like, Hell yes. Yeah. Yes to more men or more women taking your dates on like cool little things like dinners are so, that's overrated. That's like, get out of here. Let's go have fun in an arcade and yep. be adventurous. Yes. Hey, quick tip, Bar 82 in downtown LA. Arcade bar. It's incredible. It's great. Rome, you were in a movie recently, fantasy football, that involved video games and everything. So they're just going to put, they can play Madden on the date, right? Rome? They really can play as me on there. So that, that's the thing, too. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. Um, it's June 2nd premiering uh, season two of Will Love on Prime Video. Rome, Emra, that's been so great catching up. Thank you all for your time. All right, get this. Thanks, brother. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. 
Be sure to like Poptternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.